how do you manage uh, how do you manage to sell into that kind of market? I mean, you kind of have a double marketplace. You have the car companies who want to give you the batteries, you want to get the batteries from them, and you have the people who want to buy these things. Mm. How are you building that that pipeline? Yeah, so uh, we're working very focused towards the supply market for us, like the car manufacturers, the recycling companies, uh, the battery manufacturers as well. So there are not infinitely many of them, so it's easy to kind of get a, get in touch with them, talk to the right people. So I think that's kind of like supply and demand. You you negotiate on contracts, you develop a product around it. And then on the other side, we're selling to system integrators and commercial industrial customers. So then then we're in sales mode, selling a mm -hmm. energy storage solution on the other side. So uh, yeah, being the bridge between the, the old manufacturers and the demand for energy storage on the other side. Is anybody else doing this? Or do you vote? How close are your competitors? Yeah, so we have, I would say, maybe five serious competitors in at least in uh, in Europe, which I think is a healthy thing in uh, in a mm -hmm. market which is growing. Um, and we we always said like there will be five to ten uh, companies like us in five to ten years because there's just going to be so many batteries. Yeah. And there's not a future where only one uh, company can take all of them because there's like the Toyota batteries are different from Mercedes mm -hmm. are different from BMW. Uh, there's similarities, but then you just need more companies to, to take these.